Okay, back at Gino's transaction performance. I'm setting up the camera here. I'm cutting a pro slider. I'm about done with it. I got uh, two more cuts, so I thought I'd... This is very time consuming, and I thought I'd show you guys uh, that it's not an easy job. So here we go. other tooth off. But on a pro slider like this, you have to cut two teeth off. And I think I did a pretty nice job on that. That's how it's supposed to be done. Uh, we'll clean this up then. But uh, I don't know if you can see it, but you take two teeth off here without hitting this tooth in here, which some people do, and uh, then it's ruined. But I did a good job on that one. I can, He'll like that. So that's how you cut a pro slider. And the other teeth over here for first, so you don't cut them 
off. You let all of them on, but for the pro slider, you cut uh, two teeth off because it got cloop in there. It makes it. I, I don't use pro gears. I will not use slick shift. I know some people like them, but I've had too much trouble with them, and I just, I just won't use them. I'm not coordinated enough, I guess, for them. But oh well. So now you got a lesson on how you cut uh, pro slider. That knife. At first, when I first started, I didn't have the right speed. That knife is cherry on there. And I was going through knives right and left. Couldn't figure out what was going on. I'm, I'm a greenhorn at this. I'm not uh, a professional machinist. I'm just learning. And this machine is not a good machine. But uh, I'm not saying where I got it uh, or anything like that. But it's a piece of junk, but it'll do pro. Pro gear is fine and some other stuff that I'm doing. I'd like to get a, a a bridge port. I think I can get one in here. The ceiling's pretty low, but I was over at Joe's for a couple days this week. A uh, good friend of mine and uh, he has one and uh, I, I'm pretty sure I can get one in. If I did that, I'd be cutting heads and cases in. So uh, we're going to uh, as long as my health holds up, we're going to be gearing up here for uh, some other stuff also. We're going to do trannies. We're going to do some machine work. Uh, Joe's been teaching me some stuff and uh, uh, I want to learn to do some stuff in here for myself. I have some of the equipment. I'm going to get more eventually and uh, with his help. Uh, maybe I'll learn something in my older age, which I always wanted to learn, and nobody ever would take the time to teach me. So there you go. Pro Gears. And uh, there's another little trick that I use this machine for, and I'll tell you about that on another one. No secrets, but I'll tell you about it later. I don't have time. Got to get a tranny together. That's what that gear is going in for a customer. We'll talk to you later from Gina's Transaxle Performance.